Good evening, and welcome to Across the Continuum. Tonight, we'll look at a few other subjects so that, you know, I like to talk about every now and then, other franchises other than just Doctor Who. Now, most of you out there know this channel and this program, you know, mainly for Doctor Who news. But every now and then, I like to delve into other topics, other sci-fi franchises that have tickled my fancy and that I, you know, tend to be a fan of over these years, or, well, across the year. So here we go. Sit down, relax and enjoy across the continuum. Now, meanwhile, on this side of the Great Divide, here we go, bam, bam, ho! Oh, the Mandalorian has scored 15 Emmy nominations. 15 Emmy nominations. Wham, bam, whoa. Noms for, get ready for this, best drama, outstanding character voiceover, production design for a narrative, cinematography for a single camera, fantasy sci-fi costumes, Three, single camera picture editing for a drama series, prosthetic makeup, music composition, guest actor in a drama series nod for Giancarlo Esposito, second sound editing in a comedy drama half hour series, outstanding special VFX, stunt coordination for a drama series, a limited series or movie. Overall, once again, this is amazing. This is amazing. 19 nominations for Disney you know, as a network, 15 of them being for The Mandalorian. Now, if you've not watched The Mandalorian, you're feeling, oh, God, I don't want to do it, you know, because of all the weirdness that's been going on with Star Wars. Watch The Mandalorian. If I remember correctly, The Mandalorian set like three to five years after Return of the Jedi. So this is before Force Awakens and all that hokey-dokey nonsense even happens. You know, so if you're not into Ray, you're not going to see Ray here. At least that's the theory. So... Definitely a great series that focuses on this particular character. Please go watch it. Meanwhile, Star Trek Picard has earned five Emmy Award nominations. You know, like certain other channels that I won't name. <coughs> you know, let's say something like, uh, you know, Morning's Wood, shall we say, has said that Picard was everything that was wrong with sci-fi in the 21st century. That's funny, because given the amount of folks that are watching it and enjoying it, I think they're doing something right. So they've been nominated for categories of Outstanding Period and or Character hair, Hairstyling, Outstanding Period and or Character Makeup, Outstanding Prosthetic Makeup for a Series, Limited Series, Movie or Special, Outstanding Sound Editing for a Comedy or Drama, comedy or drama Series, One Hour, Outstanding Sound Mixing for a Comedy or Drama Series, One Hour. Picard, to me, is... You don't have to be into Discovery. You don't have to be into anything else. The, you know, if you're not into Discovery, or you, you don't need it. This is a nice, really good pickup. It's, it's, it's almost as if you're revisiting the next generation universe, you know, so many, many years after the fact. You don't have to know anything about the, the JJ verse, none of that. Just sit down and say, hey, there's Captain Picard, and he makes me horny. All right, moving forward. Dread TV series is allegedly being confirmed. This has been in a couple other places now saying that it was supposed to be Dread 2 because anyone who's seen the movie Dread, it is an awesome freaking flick. Beats the shit out of that Judge Dread movie with Sylvester Sloan, nine times out of ten, hands down, with its one arm tied behind its back. Dread just knocked it out of the park. It was kick ass. It was right there in your face. Boom. So. Hopefully this is going to come to pass. We'll have to wait and see. And of course, here's another article saying it's officially happening, and this is from Giant Shrieking Robot. Now, as said before, they we've been hearing about this for years. Let's see if it does get into development before I get excited. All right, before I start touching my cells, you know, before I start really rubbing my erogenous zones, let's see if it gets into actual production. Now, once again. This is going to be covered on another show, but I wanted to bring it up quickly. This is War of the Worlds. It is filming right now in the UK. Wonder why certain other shows aren't filming right now, you know, or planning on being, you know, delayed. Lots of great programming going on out there. Like I said, uh, every now and then you're going to see across the continuum. Don't be afraid to check it out. It's going to be basically the same program as you've been getting with my Doctor Who news, but I want to every now and then touch on other things. So at least once a week, I'm going to try to get across the continuum up. So if you feel like you enjoy this, please like, subscribe, you know, hit the little bell, all that stuff, and be sure to tune in with us. 
All right, so take care, everyone out there. This is the first episode of Across the Continuum. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I'm feeling tingly in funny places. <laughs> I can't say because of YouTube censorship. <laughs> Good night, everyone.